So there's now an imperative as we look at tax reform to be able to get something done for the first time in 30 years. There are fair-minded Democrats that are coming to the table and are signaling that they want to be serious about this. We'll see what happens if the Democratic Party, particularly senators in red states, particularly senators in red states, have the ability to come back to the table and say, I don't agree with the president on many things, but I know that tax reform has to get done if we're going to be a competitive country um, anymore with the highest tax rate in the entire world. That's not a partisan issue. That's about attracting and retaining capital in an increasingly global economy where 95% of the consumers live somewhere else. But the part of the problem is 74% today of the members of the House and the Republican Party have never served with the Republican president. Three-fourths of them have never served. They've only served with Obama. So these are folks, some of them, a narrow, small band of aggressively inflexible Republicans who know how to say no in 147 different languages have never had to govern. They've been validated, they've been incented and rewarded by saying no on all the issues that I talked about before. The American people don't care what party you're in and all the data that I've looked at and the dining room conversations that I've had in all 50 states, they know and believe we have to get something done. I believe we have an opportunity on tax reform. I believe that if that does occur, we will be north of 3% GDP that fixes, for a sustained period of time, fixes a number of the issues that we all care about. People in audiences like this then often raise their hand in the Q&A and say, what about infrastructure? And I say infrastructure is a math issue. We're all for it. It's our number one along with the talent pipeline. Until and unless we get above 3% growth for a sustained period of time, we're not going to be able to chip away at it. So if you say, what's, what's the issue that's going to determine where we go? It's not health care. That's failed. And the president says we're going to take it up next year. We'll see how that plays out. That's a shirts and skins issue. We know big things that get done in Washington, they last, are always done on a bipartisan basis. So both parties are invested in the outcome. <music>